And now we come to the blueberries that we wrapped up so the deer couldn't get to them. And again, it's been three weeks and there's a lot of growth on these. And until we wrapped them like this, well, this one was just on death's door. <laughs> the deer just chopped them, chopped them right down to the vine. You can see how well they're growing now. And here's this other one. Oh, yeah. Bushy. We've never seen them bushy like this. And simply because we kept the deer off. How long till we get blueberries off these things? They said one, to two, one to two years, but it's first season we didn't have them caged. So the deer were keeping them from growing. So we should get blueberries this year. We did get some strawberries last year. So they, they produce, they'll produce better this year if we get them protected. <laughs> Nice to see it working. Mm -hmm. And show the strawberry over there. We have uh, the strawberries. They, we were planted, I think, about 25 plants. And they told us to plant them on a mound. Unfortunately, there's just too much wind. So everything on the windy side, on the west side of the mound, uh, didn't make it. <laughs> see the ridges up, up there. That's where the wind comes from most of the time. So it blows right up here. And you see this mound, and on the far side of the mound there is where the wind hits it hard and then there's a little slope coming down this other side and it's a little more protected. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to figure out if if these ones that survived if they send out spreaders, runners, runners, um, then that would be great. Otherwise maybe we'll buy some more strawberries. Um, but these are the hardy ones for sure. With that one we're going to get strawberries off of before you know it. Yum!